Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. Today I'm talking about how to prepare the footing of a basement or underground wall, retaining walls example. And this one is a big one always because a lot of guys use our systems or they use other systems and they know how to attack the wall and have a really good membrane to protect the wall against moisture. But like anything, the most critical area is always the challenge and that is the footing because that's where the head of water is. At the base of the wall is where most moisture sits. That's where you've got your drainage detail. And if you can't get the membrane started properly there, it's gonna compromise the whole system because with capillary action, you get moisture that'll go in under that footing, up behind the membrane, and undo all the good work that you may have put on that wall. So, the concrete footing. Ideally, it should look like this, where you've got a nice wall and a nice L junction slab edge, footing edge, and you can get our butyl fillet in there, or you can put a fillet, a bond breaker, and proceed ahead. However, they often look like this. And the issue there is, how do you prepare it? It's a conversation relationship with your builder. Okay, so whoever's done that work, tell them that you want that removed. But if you're confronted with it, don't despair. There are ways around it. So the first and foremost, we always talk about Grips at 11Y, it is the unknown gem in our range. It will get you out of trouble any day of the week with anything that's referring to concrete, cement, plaster, render, brickwork. Using that as an additive in a, in a mortar with our Grips at DM powder or our Grips at C bed, and you can create a cementitious fillet. And it's really simple to use, and the workability has got a nice plasticizing effect, and you can use it from a concentrated portion where you can use it neat and you can get cement to sort of, you can get to a feathered edge, or you can use it at sort of five or six to one dilution ratio. So there's a big variation. So if you want details on the 11Y, you can check that out on our website. But more importantly, using that in a mortar, you can actually level off that footing and you can create a curved or a 45 degree fillet at that wall floor junction to tidy the area up. Really important because that there is the undoing of a lot of work. Then if you're using a liquid system, you can actually then carry through and put the liquid over the top of that with our bond breaker tape, our B50, or if you're using our sheet system like our HD, you can then carry that through to the edge. You need to prepare, ensure that you can actually terminate your membrane to a point where it can come down the wall, or you've got to be able to seal that off. Okay, we've got details on that, but it's important to ensure that you don't just have your sheet or your liquid then just stuck halfway on that fillet edge that you've created. You need to, that needs to be under the membrane, but it's all about preparing that critical area. Now, if you've got a situation where you've got an undulation wall, so an undulating uh, footing, but you can actually use our 45 degree butyl fillet, the beauty of this is that you not only have to use it with our HD, but you can use it with our C1P. Lots of guys now are loving the fillet, and they use it at the wall floor junction because it's preformed, it'll bond to a damp substrate, they can use the RF fabric over that. If you use the fillet, you don't need to use the B50. And then you can actually address the RF fabric with a C1P system if you're going with the liquid and you dress that over the footing and up the wall and you continue the whole length of the wall. And that's a great system, particularly those of you coming to the winter months now where you get those damp walls because C1P bonds to a damp substrate and that fillet will work in the same way. So that's a way to get around that. Preparation is key. Now, if you, find that there's, you know, it sounds drummy and it's just the daggy bits from the brick layers, remove that. Don't just try and patch those up, but ensure that you talk to your builders about the area you can work in from a confined space side of it and how to work around it. But that preparation at that basement footing of that wall, that basement footing of that wall or the retaining wall is the part that if you just pay a bit of attention to that and you might put in your quote that you need to add a little bit more to, to get it right if they haven't prepared it properly for you. But get that piece right, and then you allow the membrane to keep going up to the height of the wall as you need, and from there, it's smooth sailing. If you've got any questions, 1-800-650-435. We can get any of our guys out on site to help you, or get tech services to give you some details, we're there for you. Be part of that change, I'll see you next week.